Welcome back. Welcome back to my video. Uh, I'm Mapuji. I uh, will guide you uh, in this video how to install and set up Redis in Kubernetes cluster. Uh, I by no means an expert in Kubernetes uh, or in infrastructure, software infrastructure in general, but I I get involved in Docker uh, and Kubernetes when I'm building a test infrastructure for my company and also playing with, around with my computer here. And I will sh share you a little bit about my uh, experience setting up Redis in, in Kubernetes. Yeah, uh, in the creation of this video, I haven't uploaded the repository in GitHub, but soon I will uh, upload it on, a, on my repository on github on github.com slash mapuji and you will get the link below in the description okay so if you want to set up a redis uh, for your app in in the real production setting or for testing or for your local or whatever you want uh, in some cases you want to uh, setting up uh, redis in in a Kubernetes cluster. So if you haven't already have a Kubernetes cluster, basically you can do it locally or you can open a Kubernetes playground. But let's say you already have a Kubernetes. I'm here using a mini cube, uh, basically a single node cluster and if you haven't already setting up a cube, uh, mini cube, you can search for mini cube GitHub in GitHub.com Kubernetes slash mini cube, and there is an installation uh, guide here. So if you are doing it in Linux, it is pretty easy, pretty handy. You just copy everything here and wrapping in, in a shell script, then run it on your computer. And the, the magic in Minikube is if you have, if you are running your Kubernetes on a CI machine, on a VM, you can use VM driver equal known. It basically will using a Docker for your uh, Kubernetes setup. Okay, let's say you already have Minikube like mine. So when I try to Minikube status, I got running, running and correctly configured, pointing to blah, blah, blah. And uh, just a Quick uh, tips, you can also do it something like this, mini cube dashboard, to open a dashboard and it automatically direct you into a browser uh, link and it open this, you have some setup here. <clears throat> okay, so here I basically uh, having no active port, everything is already uh, terminated and okay. So, if starting for kubectl get all, basically in Kubernetes there are uh, several uh, options you can do like get, describe, option, uh, create, and delete. That is the most frequently used option in kubectl. And you see here when I kubectl get all, uh, the only thing access here is only uh, surface Kubernetes. Basically, it is uh, set up for my cluster, local cluster here. And uh, let's go back to how we install Redis in Kubernetes. So I already prepared you uh, a deployment uh, resource and also config map setting for your Redis setup. So basically, I will guide you through this uh, YAML script. There are two YAML script used here. And okay, let's go. So uh, basically, uh, in this deployment YAML, I include uh, like a four things. So basically, I have a deployment object or resources, deployment resource uh, for my Redis. And one is deployment resource for my Redis Sentinel. So in my setup, I want to set up a Redis with a Redis with one slave Redis Sentinel uh, following the, the master of the Redis. And then I also setting up a service 
uh, service is a resource in 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 Kubernetes that describe how how your 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 nodes communicate uh, and deployment is is an abstraction from so basically in in Kubernetes you have pods and then in the pods there is a higher level abstraction of pods called replication controller who manage a uh, replica so pods is managing uh, many container uh, wrapped in a single isolated environment with sharing a name sharing a network and then in above pods there is a namespace something there is replication controller and there's deployment so basically deployment is managing the replication and also rolling uh, update and rolling callback and everything for you and so basically here I will start from here line 30 in line 30 uh, I'm using the API version apps version 1 and I said that I I want to deploy something so the kind is deployment and in metadata I I put labels here label is uh, metadata that I want to know that in the future when I want to select that I can select the label so basically here I uh, in the labels I describe the the verbose one example release deploy so basically it is uh, a resource for deployment and in the name for deployment I take the sorters one example release and in the spec so basically I'm using a selector so I will uh, setting up this with this kind of uh, selector so it will select any container with 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 the name with the name of redis example redis and role redis master and in the template I any metadata example redis for the pods and role is redis master and for the spec it is using container uh, I'm using the image here in kssgcr.io redis versi 1 if you want to know uh, about where where you want to get a full list of image that kssgcr.io offer you can open here uh, in moment I open my link in the container registry in the console.cloud.google.com slash this year and blah 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 I will edit it in the description and if you want to filter release here there is a release and I'm using the first one that's all and one node is acting as a master so in environment uh, we can set the role by putting an environment called name master a value true and the container port of this container is 6379 and I want to uh, mount volume release master data uh, with name data and mount other mount path with release master with name config with I will let tell you later with config map and volumes uh, you describe data is uh, started from empty, empty directory and a config is from a config map so basically we generate uh, the config from a config map and for the sentinel it is it, it is like mostly the same but without the volume mount so it is just following the uh, the master it is uh, mostly the same just different name and then in the surface uh, I want to say that uh, this is kind of surface labels it is example in the surface and role is surface so I describe this with the label role so there is a role uh, surface role surface and then here there is also lab role here it is master and here is role here it is sentinel and for the master I match with role release master and for sentinel I select from ready sentinel and for the master I exposing 
6379 and for the slave for the sentinel 26379 and for config map it is pretty straightforward uh, basically I just want to I just want to bind the config uh, I just want to bind the ready server to 000 and I give it a name uh, example redis so in here in the deployment of the master there is example redis for the name and the key is redis config same as here redis config and path is redis conf that's all and let's get started so actually i adding a pretty pretty uh, straightforward readme here just copy one by one first uh, we need to set up the config map because when we try to uh, create the deployment uh, it will depends on the config map so just run the kubectl create config map and da -da -da -da. and if you want to see kubectl get all uh, there is nothing about a uh, config map but you can uh, type kubectl get config map something like this very straightforward and then you can setting up the deployment yaml here uh, and example redis create it example redis setting up create it and so on and you can kubectl get all and you can see everything is available and everything is running and now we want to verify that it is works uh, it is not a fake we can uh, access the redis client so how to do that basically it is pretty pretty straightforward uh, you can copy this this long stuff here uh, so basically kubectl run interactive with uh, changing the command in, and reset never and the name of the container is this client 13 it is just my magic number you can change it the name or whatever you want and basically you can check this into not turbo redis but change it with something like example redis because we have service example redis in the cluster here and you can try to click enter uh, it will try to connect to the redis uh, it will say if you don't see command prompt try pressing enter i pressing an enter uh, somehow it is uh, like like lagging but it's actually trying to connect to the redis uh, because it is in local so it takes time to connect i i pressing enter a little bit oh i think there is a bug in the kubectl or in minikube itself and i got it so basically you connect example redis in port 6379 that's all it's pretty straightforward you can go back to exit and you can also see what's happening in the background by minikube dashboard and try to see what's happened in the in the background from the ui so you have deployment running to to basically example redis and example redis sentinel and you also have redis here uh, for the pods pods is basically managed or abstracted by the deployments and one is redis client uh, it's basically long ago before i created this uh, tutorial and replica set here and discovery and balancing uh, services basically and a config map we have uh, that's that's all it's pretty straightforward and you see how this easy to, to set up uh, a, a cluster in kubernetes that's all guys and i will complement this video with a blog post and several links in the description so don't forget to check the description and if you want to see more about my work, you can uh, follow me on my uh, GitHub channel on github.com slash mapuji. 
or you can also open my uh, website in mapuji.org. I'm opening software engineering DevOps consultancy and I have a blog here uh, which I frequently updated and that's all. Bye bye.